Hey guys, welcome back to Burner Brothers. Good day starting right here. We got uh, Lucas is here. Uh, we just had a meeting with Josh. We've been talking all morning about strategies coming up and things we're going to do. And then look with this. We got Kate just walked in the door here. Good morning. Uh, here's Kate. Kate's back here picking up what she bought last week. Got my Heart of Ohio beanie. And she got her, yeah, Josh said, man, she said Kate was rocking the beanie. Yeah. That was awesome. It's going to be a trend. Watch out. Uh, I love it. I love it. And then we just talked to Kate about coming back. We're, we're, uh, we're going to have another another marathon. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to do something fun. It'll be different. We won't do anything the same twice. I know that with Kate. It's going to be different every time. So guys, welcome to today's Burner Brothers. Join us. We're going to go. Okay, so Lucas and I have to get this stuff unboxed. This is some more of this group out of uh, Florida that we have not seen yet. So we're going to unbox it with you. We're going to show you what we got and we're going to case it up. It'll be for the auction. And Lucas is going to cut it open and get, get out of here. Um, just unbox it and tell them what you got as you find it, Luke. Um, you know, this box right here, it says I paid $150 for it in his box. And it says I paid hundred dollars for what's in this box, so we will see. Um, we've been buying off this guy for a long, long time, uh, huh? and he actually delivered this load, so it saved me a lot of drive time. Come on, you open that one up. Well, that is a disappointing first item. It is. A, it is signed though. It's Leslie Roy. It's signed Leslie Leslie Roy, and that I, I don't know Leslie Roy, so I shouldn't say it's disappointing. I just don't know what that is. That's the first item out of that case, or out of that box. And uh, I'll keep on unwrapping while Lucas is cutting. Here is our next item. It's a weird piece of pottery. Uh, it's kind of unusual. It's got a little hanger on the back. Cute. It's got a signature here. And that is lot number two, item number two. Item number three, we gotta get 150 items still for the auction, so we figured this, this group of boxes should be close to that. This is a resin piece, it is signed. Uh, House of Cards and Gifts out of Sturgis, Michigan sold that piece, so this is kind of cool. It looks like a Winchester dog with a with game in his mouth. That's item number three, what do you got, Luke? Uh, it's a Swedish owl. Right. It's a Regimir Crystal Sweden. Well, owl. Right Swedish there. owl. That's Swedish cool. Owl. And I've got a terracotta sign. This is signed. This is kind of an older piece. Um, it's signed right here. I cannot make it out. Oh, it's signed Germany. Okay, so it's a German terracotta. Probably a tobacco humidor here. Put your cigars here. Maybe your pipe and, and matchsticks here. And pipe over here, probably. That's kind of cool. I like that piece. I got a Calvin Chen. Calvin Chen is really nice too. Is it? Yeah. It also is marked Vincent. That's a lot of. They do a lot of really good enamel work boxes. And we sold a lot of boxes out of Calvin Chen. Kelvin. Kelvin. Yes, Kelvin. This is fun. It's an art pottery piece. Uh, it's unsigned. No marks on it. Uh, just cute. It's got a little. Looks like maybe that's in the making there. Um, yeah, different. And that's this box dot right here. What do you got, Weller? Uh, it's not marked. Is this Weller? You looks think? like Weller. Okay, well, it's, well, Weller. Is this a planner? Yeah, a little pot. It looks like Weller. Mine's fun. I like this piece. This is a vintage pattern. A little grape scene, and it is Limoges. It's a nice, nice handle Limoges pot. Getting some cold beer in it. I don't know. Cold what? Who's here? <laughs> so the camera. Oh, the camera. Staffordshire dog. I think that's what these are called. Yeah, right? there's a Staffordshire. Hopefully there's a pair. Those always come to, come in pair originally. They're English. That one's an older one. That's probably a 19th century or, or turn of the century, 1900 range. Uh, this one here, I mean, I gotta get my glasses out. It is a hammered copper and it is signed on the bottom. It's got a brass handle. Here's that one. It looks like McCoy, I bet. What's this? It is indeed McCoy. What, you put candles or plants in there? Just put flowers in there. Flowers. Oh, I guess that makes more sense, doesn't it? But here's a later piece of Staffordshire. This is a Staffordshire dog. It's, it is signed. And whenever you see the, the marks like this on them, they're always going to be later. The Royal Staffordshire. I, I'm not sure the exact age of that. Probably 1950 ish. Uh, but that's this one, maybe. Somewhere in the 1950s. So there's only one dog. That's not good. All right, let's go on to the next box. Now that first box we had 150 in, Luke. I don't know, what do you think? I think it's kind of marginal. Not 
not much, not much profit in that box. Wait till Thursday and see. Okay, here, this is gorgeous here. It's like a Royal Vienna. Um, it's a later piece, it's Limoges. It's actually a Limoges sign. Probably 1970s uh, Limoges, two handled base. Got some hand painted gilt decoration. Not a bad one. Yeah, it's a Brassy. Brassy. Brass bell and a stone. What is this? A little guy that fell. Okay. But a stone it's on. guy and a brass bell, huh? Yeah. I got what appears to be a silver plate mirror. Sometimes these are sterling. We'll test it, but that, I, don't, I don't think that one is. That one's a little silver plate mirror. It's a $100 box. I bet this is a match base. Oh no, this is, this is not matching. That one's an egg? Yeah. No, that's a hand painted, that's pretty actually. Very large hand painted vessel. This was probably a blank. Uh, it says 1986 on there. So that was probably a blank that somebody painted. But they did a nice job. It's all hand painted. Uh, big big pot with the gold gilt up top. We got a little unsigned porcelain tea set. Cup and saucer. Cup and saucer. It's like a sake set uh, coming out. A little Japanese sake set coming. Who's gonna have the better eye? Me or you? You. Me? <laughs> I don't know, I like this. I don't know what this guy is. Uh, oh, this is a carving. Well, mine's a little, looks like an acorn, some kind of a uh, resin carving on stand. Is this part of the sake set? No, those are, those are, uh, maybe like rice bowls or, or little, uh, you know, these Soft are Chinese. Bowls. Yeah, these are Chinese. So nice decoration on the Chinese bowls, little set of them. All right, what do you got? Rose medallion, um, this is a nice looking rose medallion. It's not early, this is a later piece, probably 1980s, but it's fun, it's got good color to it. I got this. This isn't iron stone, is it? Yeah, that's got a. No, it's got a broken yeah, spot on it. That's an Amari piece, but it's chipped. So, well, that one won't make the cut since it's broke. We won't put it up for auction. We'll put that one to the side. Uh -oh, this feels heavy. Feels heavy. I'm heavy. Sometimes it's good. Oh, that's that bottle, like the box we sold a couple of weeks ago for a bunch of money. Oh yeah, look at that. It's the jade jade insert Chinese uh, box. We yeah. Had, last, what is it? Two weeks ago, we sold one of those for four hundred and some dollars. It was it a lot of money. Very similar to that one. That's cool. It's got little drawers on the inside. I look like I've got a set of uh, Amari plates here. So I've got a set of three. I feel like there's one. Here's one. Luke, you want to get the next box ready? And then and here is one. And they're nice. He's got some age to them. Uh, you know, they're not newer ones by any means. These are. Uh, my gut says they're probably 1900 to 1930, somewhere in that range. Oh, there's a box within the box. That sometimes is really good. I mean, I really want to take care of it. Yeah, it's heavy too. A heavy box in a box. Oh, it's all prisms. Oh, do we have a chandelier? I have no idea. It's got a whole bunch of prisms. Might have to put those to the side just to see. Now, this is an interesting piece of glass. I've not had this one before. Uh, so this is all art glass, That's and then this is enameling over the art glass. That is just pretty special. Um, and it's got, it's a white casing, so it's white case on the inside. It's got enamel decoration, and then it's got all this wild color of art glass through it. So that's a fun piece. I like that one. What do you got, Luke? Well, cut glass candlestick. No, this is cut. Yeah, this is cut glass. Oh, it's like silver. Silver, yeah, it's silver deposit silver on that one. Here's a big cut glass piece. Uh, these big cut glass pictures, they're starting to make a comeback. We were, we used to sell these for 50 to 100 a quarter. And in the last few years, they've gotten as low as five to $15. But now they're starting to bring more money again. That, I mean, they really should because these are all hand cut. Uh, I mean, I think they're very undervalued. These are all, a lot, most of these were made like, I, I feel like they're made like from the 1870s, 80s up to the 1930s, really popular. Uh, but that's all great cut work in this one. A beautiful piece. Uh, trophy. Is this the top of, or the bottom base of a lamp? Or well, it's it's uh, some kind of an urn. It may have a top. That probably has a top in here. I feel like I won something. A trophy. You won a trophy for best unboxing. Yeah. 
we'll see if the top comes out. Um, here is a this is a press. This is a blown mold uh, jar with a cut stopper on it. Hopefully, there's another one. They're hard to sell by themselves. There you go, green. Okay. That's that's like a 1900s, 1930s. Is this Fenton? Uh, no, that's not Fenton. Uh, I'm not sure who made those. Yeah, but it's marked with a D. What does it got marked? A D. Let me see. Oh, that's just a marker. Somebody put a marker mark on that. Oh, is it? This is another little press glass cruet. It's got some age to it. Probably 1930-ish, 1920s. Lucas, your piece, a lot of the, the enamel decorated the glass like that, they'll come with like glasses with the pitcher, mm -hmm. like a little uh, juice set or tea set, uh, you know. But a lot of times those were made in like the 1900, 1930s range. Uh, an array of companies made them. This is a weird color here, but this glows. This, I feel like this is going to glow. I got another little picture over here. Let's see. What do you think? Is that glowing? Uh, I don't think so. It's reflecting? Let's see if this glows. No, no that's not going to glow. Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm hooked on this glow light. I want to see that in the dark. I just feel like that's got a really cool color to it. Um, it's going to it's gonna do something at night because that's kind of weird. But it's got a, it's got a polished the ground bottom. Uh, so it's polished out. It is ground. It is, it is blown. Uh, it's just got a fun color to it and a nice piece of glass found the other the other half to what he pulled earlier a little cut glass the press press glass press this is press glass yeah that's pressed yes this is pressed all right so let's go on to the next box so this box full this next box full i got 50 bucks in the reason i know is on the top the guy that packs these he writes how much i have in these boxes and packs them up and then uh, he buys a lot of these states and then he wraps and packs and then uh, usually I pick it up in Florida as part of my big load I stop by and uh, this thing generally gives me a lot of jewelry so I love buying the jewelry from him. And then he also gets other stuff. So this is a French uh, French pot. I'm guessing that's probably, I don't know, for some kind of a, I don't know, tea or coffee or chocolate or something, but just a nice French pot. Got uh, Chinese, wait, is this a sugar bowl or, or tea? Uh, sugar. Yeah, it's a Chinese. I probably have the creamer to match it. I bet so. Yep, here's the creamer. So it's got the roosters on it. Um, just got a fun color. It's polychrome decorated. And I like the roosters. That matches the hand at the loop. Let's see what else we got here. This is probably French. You know, this is Hudson, Hudson, Hudson Ruder. I always say that name wrong, but uh, beautiful piece. It's got great decoration on it. And it's got the good Hutchinson Ruther mark right here in the middle. So big sauce sauce boat. Back shire. Isn't this called Queen Ruther? This white right here. The Queen's Ruther. Uh, might be. You read the book. You tell us. Well, this is Stafford Shire. Oh, Stafford Shire. Fine bone China. Fine bone China. A uh, big big platter here. This one's a Limoges platter. A lot of this Limoges we used to sell for really big money. I get 50 bucks out of any platter. Now they bring five to 15. It's um, not a lot. Here, I'm gonna hand these to you. So this is a snack set. Uh, these were made by uh, Fine uh, Royal, it was a Staffordshire, Royal Crown, or Fine Crown Staffordshire. Yeah, and these should have, like the cups that you had, these are the, these are the plates for them. So let me just hand these to you. This is a coming out. Like there's three, so one, two, three, four. Here's number five, and there is six. It looks like so. We've got two cups on that so far. Another no, seven. Here's another one. Is it seven or six? Did I miscount? I think it is seven. Here's another one. So now we got to see if we got all the cups. Okay, here's one. Here's one, so we got two, we got two on that, that's four. It's always nice when you get a complete set. I don't like selling half cups of saucers. I'd rather sell a complete. So here's one. Six. And this matches the uh, sauce boat that we had. This is the sugar bowl. Matched the sauce boat, that was the French one, the Moge. We got a salt boat and a sugar bowl. I wonder if it's going to be that set. I don't know, 
And this is the kind of stuff that, you know, years ago I used to love to get. Today, I, I get it sometimes. I'm not really looking for it, but, you know, I bought off some of, the, some of these guys for, for 20 years, and, and uh, some of them have changed really well and adapted to the new market, and some still want to sell us the older stuff but you know how do you how do you stop uh, doing business with someone that's been doing business with you so long so i don't want to Sauce, and uh, plus this... they get us all the all the costume jewelry out of south florida come to this gentleman yep sauce boat um so that one's you got okay so is that box empty yep all right let's roll on to the next this maybe this is a whole set of dinnerware loop it's kind of starting to look that way yeah with a motor set all right how much we got in this box 175 in this one, okay. Not expensive yet. Let's pop that out, let's get rolling with it. Okay, this is a Norman Rockwell. Um, figure in here, Norman Rockwell. Let me just have them off. You unwrap them and hand them to me, I'll go right across camera with them. This is a Chinese mud figurine. This looks like a Wade figure here. Yeah, that's signed Wade. Little Wade English Wade porcelains. So this maybe is a whole box of miniature. A whole box of miniature figurines. Whole box of miniature figurines. Okay, these these are wood. Now these actually do decent for us. Uh, who is a company that made these? It slipped my mind. Um, oh, I forget. Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. Those are wood. This is another little angel. Here's a Hummel, and I know Hummels aren't bringing what they used to, but they've actually gained some momentum in the past six months. We were down selling Hummels for five dollars each, and now they're selling. Uh, a lot of them are bringing from ten to thirty a piece again, but they're still not bringing seventy-five a piece. We used to, when I was Lucas's age, any Hummel would bring seventy-five dollars at auction. Okay, we got these two. This is German, and then this is a porcelain of some sort, probably Japanese, and then this is German. What else you got, Luke? Keep talking over in that there. Okay, so this one here uh, is Lativia. That's something I don't see very often marked. Lativia. It's got a little chip on the back. Here's another one of these little wood wood car figurines. Um, not sure. What this one looks German. A little German guy. He's got the ducks in the front. A little humble right there. Humble figurine. Here we go, here's another Hummel with the pigs. I kind of like the pigs on that one. Um, I don't know what his name is. Boy with two pigs, maybe. He's happy, he seems like he's a happy kid. Got another Hummel there, and then we got another German figurine here. Let's see if I can see who made these. Um, Derlock and Company Bavaria. So Bavaria and porcelain, uh, white figurine here. And two more Hummels. There's the boy with the backpack. How oh, much are these two upside down? <laughs> That's just the way I picked them up. And they got nice marks, a little bit of full B marks on the bottom. So these got some older, uh, these are older Hummels, which is a little bit better. And these are actually like a four and a half inch ones too. They're, they're better when they're a little bit taller like that. It seems like they're just more interesting. One of those though had a chip on it, so it won't do that well. Now I like this guy. He looks like he's getting ready to take flight or go on a motorcycle or something. He's got his glasses. He's got his little toy in the front of him here. This is a piece of, uh, this is like one of two, these are Mexican bookends. There's a, they're kind of a hard stone of some sort. I just found two or two. You found the other one? Here's two or two. All right, good. Here's the other one. So that's just a nice little Mexican, uh, you know, kind of touristy stuff from the 1970s and 80s. What else we got, Luke? Hummel. Hummel. So we got another Hummel here, that's this one. Man, Hummels, Hummels, Hummels. This is not a Hummel, this is Dresden here. Uh, nice, nice Dresden figurine, that's fun. Little and girl. Her lace is actually in good condition on that one. And then it looks like we got another one here, probably a Dresden as well. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Now, I like the Dresdens. These are cute, just really nice. They're hard to ship, so they always scare me to sell them because of, especially the real big ones, it seems like the lace breaks easy. But we have an incredible packing system with our UPS store here. 
uh, and they take care of all that for us. So this guy here is really heavy. It almost feels like he's lead. Uh, this little guy here, um, baseball player, he, he's, he's probably weighs a pound or two pounds or something. He's really heavy. And then another Hummel. This guy's reading the newspaper. Another Hummel. This guy's got a pig in the back. That's the tongs. Silver plate tongs. Okay, not excited about those. Yeah. And we got a silver plate flat arch set, it looks like. pattern we got here this is fun uh, this is at least got a nice decorative pattern lots of uh, it says triple plate met rose but that's a that's a really pretty pattern uh, on this set of silver plate and it's a big set so so stuff in the bottom too oh yeah and the bottom's full so this is a this is a really big set of silver plate flatware uh, as part of that box that's cool box is heavy Box is heavy. Lucas is going to open up that next box. I'm going to put these humbles away. Oh, Luke, they can't hear you. Oh, I'm opening it still. Keep talking. Um, it got some flat up here. Feels like a little pain. Um, so, is this a sketch? I'll look at the back of that, too. What is it? looks like a sketch. Yeah. No, it's not a sketch. That'd be an engraving on the front. It is pencil sign. And then the back's got some old advertisement on. I kind of like the back as well as the front anymore. That's kind of fun, colorful advertisement. But this is an engraved sketch on the front. It is signed down here in the corner. And that looks like a Tom's jar coming out next. It is indeed a Tom's jar lid. Yeah, that's a lid to one. Hopefully there's a bottom in there. These are sellable. Uh, a lot of people after the advertising, uh, hopefully he pulled out a big base here. Uh, it's probably got stuff in it. So let's see what we got here. This is, this is fun. This is a new big. That is the Tom. That's nice. I like that piece. And this is Mexican, um, I think anyways, or South American, maybe, somewhere in there. Really cool. Red terracotta. Kind of feels like a terracotta. But look at the Tom's jar. I like that. Here, Peanut put this lid on it. Peanut butter sandwiches and sweet sandwiches. Get that close to the camera there so we can see what we got. That's fun right there. It's, it needs cleaned up, but that's a, it's all original, nice paint, nice decoration. Those are meant to be just uh, distributor jars. They were never meant to be sold. So it's always fun coming across those. All right, you got a dog. It looks uh, English maybe or German? German, German. And I got a piece of Satsuma. So nice decoration on this one, um, Japanese Satsuma. Is it called Goble? Uh, yeah, this is a Goble. Goble? So this is a Goble. The same company made the Hummels, it's, uh, but it's Goble. It's got the Goble mark on it. That's a fun dog. I like the dog better than the, uh, than the Hummel thing. Oh! That's a big dog, actually. That's probably a seven or eight inch dog. Look at this. This is cool. It's from U.S. Pottery. Yeah, that's a... Um, Namaji, uh, what do you call this, the proper name? It's going to come to mind. Anyways, it's sand, like a sand, it looks like sand. Um, Namaji pottery and here's the old the old mark on it That's fun. It's a double skill base and Here's a little oil painting sign Morgan And then what we got here. This is another painting um, Yeah, this is an oil painting that signed the rose This is all Florida and state stuff that comes out of houses out of and we've got a whole network of people we work with out of South Florida that we've developed over the years. Ooh, this is a $200 box right here. All right, so we're, we're getting down there on the boxes. We're down to this group down here. $200 box lot coming up next. Ugh. This was a $100 box. So usually if he does that, what's in small boxes is usually a lot better item. Maybe more fragile or something. Or, oh, those are all soldiers. Let's just show them that. Don't even open those. A bunch of lead. Here's a little green pottery bowl. And then this is a box full, and these are heavy, of lead soldiers. It looks like there's probably 50 of them maybe in there. And they're all they're all lead. They're all hand painted. Um, here's the inside. It's, it's really heavy. This one's got a big wood base on it 
Another guy like this. Oh, I like that loop. Look at that. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. <laughs> Mess with the bull, you get the horns. <laughs> I like that piece. That's a, that's bronze. It's all painted, kind of a cold paint over top. Or patinaed, I'm sorry. Bronze, he's fun. But that piece I really like. That's, that's a fun piece. I would just assume we get nothing but uh, fun pieces like that out of these floor loads. That, that was a fun one. This is just a normal jar here engraving. Oh, wow. Dude, that's another one. Look at the bull. That is neat. All bronze. I really like that, Luke. I don't see any signature. He gets bulls and I get apples. I don't know. I think he got the better box. <laughs> That's probably not signed. That looks like a 1980s or 1990s recast. Um, it's not a high quality bronze, but it's a great subject uh, on the bronze here. Whoa! We got quite a mess on the floor here. Glad you guys can't really see the floor because it's really getting thick with paper here. This is just a weird pottery box. Uh, I'm not even sure what you call these things. Oh, but they're all glaze. That all studio cool. pottery. There's like that's a drip glaze on that one. That's fun. Uh, it's all signed studio pottery pieces. Let me put all this down here. Got myself some, some frogs. <laughs> this uh, signed N. Do you know what an N would be? No, that's a looks like a that looks like a Japanese or a studio pottery. That's true. One frog's got an eye missing. I guess that would that would definitely be. Uh, be something for uh, Kate to sell, wouldn't it? Is it broken? Yeah, the eye, the eye of it. Some kind of pot. Somebody will love that, though. That's kitty. Got kitchen. a little scenic, scenic bowl. This one's signed. Um, let's see what it says here. Montana, something Montana Earth Pot in 94. So 1994 Montana Earth Pot. This is signed something. I just couldn't read that. Ooh, that's an odd name. Uh, if you guys can make that name out or not. Piece of pottery, and it's got a nice scene on there too, like an earth scene, kind of similar to that last piece. There's Colorado right there. Must be, this must be all like Western um, Colorado range pottery. Hmm. This bad boy. You got grapes. And it's signed by Sarah Land Painter, Land Made Initial. Italy. Luke, that's Italy, handmade in Italy. So oh, that's kind of that, cool. That's fun. That's a nice Italian, kind of awesome. Italian hand painted vase. I like that. I like that with the big grapes on yeah, it. Yeah, this one looks a little older. I don't this know is fun. Is. This one is signed. It's dated 1968. It's got a small hairline crack on the side of it, though. This one looks older. That one looks older. Um, that's all handmade studio pottery. It's got just a good glaze to it. One more box left. What we got, Luke? Uh, Le Mose Grand Jean Bayard. $50. The next box is a $50 box. So again, you're watching us unwrap this stuff. We've not seen this yet. It was delivered to us from our friend in Florida. And uh, we just thought, hey, let's do another unboxing video. We got stuff to unbox. You guys like watching. It's kind of like Christmas for everybody when we're going through this. So let's do it together. I got a piece. Luke has a piece. We'll go back and forth. I got a cup. Who can give me a cup? I got a cup as well. I got a cup. We got cups. Oh, oh this matches our dinnerware set that we started unpacking earlier. So here's some cups to it. This is a Limoges set. Uh, so now we have two cups to go with our set. Uh, uh, no saucers yet. Make it trips. Trips, okay. Let me see that one. We got the next one. There's going to be four cups. So I'm going to just take these over here. It feels like it might be another cup. So maybe, maybe this whole set's a dinnerware set. I don't know. Oh, it's close. It doesn't want to come open. Oh, yeah, then here's the bowls. I'm just going to show you these and set these. The bowls that match. You got the cups. So it looks like we're going to get into a whole Limoges dinnerware set. It does look like it. And we usually sell these dinnerware sets um, not by the set complete, but by the item. So we'll sell the bowls as a set, the cups and saucers as a set. Uh, the plates as a set, and then we kind of break it up. Uh, we found that it's easier to ship for a lot of people that way. 
And, then, and usually it'll bring more money because um, not everybody can use all the pieces where there's a lot of popularity with uh, cups and saucers and different things. So if we break it up, we usually get more money out of it. I've got some plates here. So I'll take those. So we got all the plates, snack uh, cake plates or snack plates are the same, same pattern. And those are probably plates as well. I think these are the saucers. The saucers for the cups. Well, that's good that we at least got the saucers because you can't really sell the cups without saucers. All right, so there are the saucers. Is this all going to be dinner? Yes, yeah, this is all going to be dinner. Like that. Getting into the big plates now. What time is it? Right there. Eleven thirty. Okay. All right, now we're into the dinnerware plates. Cool. Oh, so, we go. so uh, we're going to just show you the inside of this box. And that's it's all, all going to be dinnerware. That's all going to be plates that match this set. And look at our messy room that we made. <laughs> uh, it's all around us. We're about three feet in paper deep right here. But we wanted to show you guys something different today. Unboxing, uh, getting ready for the next sale. And we'll sort through this and the stuff that we don't want to put in auction, we'll pull back out. But that's going to be the end of this video, Luke. This is a pretty pretty good segment here. So, Wow, 30 <laughs> we, minutes. Yeah, we got we to call this one a quits. And guys, uh, again, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Unboxing with Luke and Jacob. Uh, we never know what it's going to be like. It's kind of like Christmas every day. What do you want to tell them? Anything? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Blessings.